Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Michelle Fonda and I'm the author of Twin Flame Romance, The Journey to Unconditional Love. All of my books are available in paperback, Kindle and Audible books. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for subscribing below. Click on that bell, scroll up to all for all notifications. And thank you for giving the video a thumbs up. I do readings, 30, 60, and 90 minute readings, twin flame romance, general readings, life path on purpose. You can book that at my website, michellefondenauthor.com. And hey, if you are viewing this video on the day that I publish it up until November 2nd, 2021, join me for my free webinar on Tuesday, November 2nd at 6.30 p.m. Pacific time, Los Angeles time. And if you miss it, it will be recorded but you can register for that free webinar at the link below to find out about my Twin Flame Boot Camps. <laughs> so if you've been intrigued or interested about the boot camps, go ahead and check out the webinar and register for it so you can come to my free webinar. I am doing the DM reading today. So as I mentioned, three weeks in a row, I'll do Divine Masculine Twin Flame readings. And then on the fourth, week, I will do the timeless pick a pile reading. So last two weeks, I've been doing the divine masculine reading. And this is the third week. Next week, I will do the timeless pick a pile. To start, we are going to say a blessing over the cards. Dear God, Jesus, Holy Spirit, Mother Mary, Archangels, angels of God, twin flames, guardian angels, let this reading be the highest light and love of God the Father. Let it bring light, love, and truth to everyone involved. Archangel Michael, stand guard, casting away any lower energies with your sword of light. Romance angels, twin flame angels, please help twin flames around the world understand what divine masculines need to know this week to learn and to grow. Okay, so we are going to pick three cards which are going to represent divine masculines and where they are at on their twin flame journey. So DMs, divine masculines, twin flames, what's happening, what's going on? Divine Masculines. Here we go. We're going to pick two and then three. DMs, DMs, DMs. I like this so far. So far, so good, Twin Flame. So far, so good. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is crazy. Okay. So I'm going to hold up two cards at the same time. What I like, here's what I like. We got the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. I like that for Twin Flames. I like that for Divine Masculine. We have the first card was the King of Wands. The King is finding his Queen. The King is finding his Queen. You know, the other thing that popped out to me in the King of Wands card here is the lion in the background. That is what popped out to me. Now it's in the past position or the recent past position. And for me, what this is saying that divine masculine is gathering up his inner strength, his or her, right? It doesn't matter. But divine masculine is gathering up his inner strength with that courageous lion card. I really like it. I like the fact that we have this lion here. I like the fact that the next card is queen of wands and that they came out together so that the king is finding his queen. The divine masculine is finding the divine feminine in the present moment. I really like that. Now, what do we see in the near future? So I still have Divine Masculine needing to make a decision. So we've got this Two of Swords, which is a decision card. In this case, I'm seeing it as making a choice. Making a decision. So let's just ask the Twin Flame Oracle to qualify us. Qualify these cards for Divine Masculine. So Divine Masculine's Guardian Angels, Divine Masculine's Higher Self, what is the qualifier for the King of Wands in the past position, please? What is the qualifier? We've got confused. It's really funny because we have the King of Wands, you know, searching for his Queen of Wands, but we have the DM confused. And I feel like for many of the Divine Masculines, it's almost like they know that the Divine Feminine is their Divine Feminine, but in a way they've been confused about it in the past. Again, this is in the past position. 
So they've really been confused about this connection, the situation you guys were in. They were confused about their feelings. So yeah, there was a lot of confusion surrounding how to be courageous even, how to confront this person who they think is their divine feminine. So after being a coward in a way, cause you know, the opposite of the lion would kind of be the opposite of courage, right? So let's see, what is the qualifier for the queen of wands for DM on this twin flame journey, angels? Look, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What did I say? The king is finding his queen. So the qualifier for the queen of wands is twin flames. Oh my gosh, you can't make this up. What? What? This is crazy. This is a huge deck too. I think there are about 70 plus cards in this deck and there's one, one Uno twin flame card, just one. And what did I say prior to this? I said the king is trying to find his queen, the divine masculine trying to find the divine feminine and we got twin flames. Yup, yup. They've been confused up until present. They've been confused up until present, but in the present moment, they're searching for their twin flame. <laughs> they know. Okay, so two of swords, this indecision energy angels for divine masculine. What card are you gonna give us? Whoa, we got two, we got two. And this really does, oh my God. <laughs> you can't make it up because when you have to make a decision, the two of swords, it's usually about two things, typically. Maybe it's about more than two things, but typically it's about two things. And two cards flew out. Now guess what cards flew out? You're gonna laugh. So first we got confused, then we got twin flames, then we got ghosted, and then we got sacred union. <laughs> so the decision divine masculine is having to make is do I continue to ghost my twin flame or do I move towards sacred union? Now, if you are a divine feminine watching this, you might be thinking, duh, the answer is clear. The choice is clear. How is that even a choice, divine masculines? But remember, Divine Masculines have been really confused about this connection. They've been confused about the nature of the connection. So it stands to reason that they are trying to make a choice between, do I continue to ghost my Divine Feminine? Or do I wanna to move toward Sacred Union? Let's get a couple of message cards from this deck and a couple of message cards from the other deck from DM to DF. So Divine Masculines, what do you have to say to your Divine Feminines for this week? I can hear and feel you so strongly. And in addition to being confused, that adds to their confusion. They don't understand why. DM, what is your message to DF, please? Secretly, I am anxious to see you. <laughs> there is the confusion. They don't understand why they're so drawn to you, Divine Feminines. And let's get the message cards here. Divine Masculines to their Divine Feminines. Divine Masculines to their Divine Feminines. I've been having flashbacks of us. Interesting. It's just getting more interesting, Twin Flame. Yeah, they are thinking about you. They're feeling you. They're hearing you. They are seeing, like, it's all going on. Okay, Divine Masculines. We get one more card, Divine Masculines. Give us something good. Give us something good, DMs. 
Here we go, DM, what do you have to say to your Dias? This feels like hell. Look, that's under the decision card. That's under the two of swords. And look at that. She's got like two birds, crows picking at her. And in, in reality, it's her. In reality, it's really not those crows picking at her. It's her. It's all her. She's doing it to herself. And so DM says, this feels like hell. Having to make this decision feels like hell. And you might be wondering why? Why does that decision between ghosting and sacred union, why does that feel like hell? It does because DMs have a hard time in general, not all, but in general, have a hard time accepting unconditional love accepting it into their space, feeling that they are good enough, feeling that they are strong enough, feeling that they're courageous enough, like that lion and like that king, that's definitely a king energy. Wow. Do you believe, guys, guys, do you believe we got the twin flame card? I mean, come on. That's perhaps a sign for many of you who've been in doubt, right? All right, guys, I hope this was helpful for this week. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for subscribing to my channel below. Click on that bell, scroll up to all for all notifications. And thank you for giving the video a thumbs up. Thank you for sharing this video with other twin flames. And thank you so much for your support on my YouTube channel. You can buy a book or two or three. You can join a boot camp or meditation course. You can also join our group coaching. The link is below. And I will see you in the next video.